Good morning, Iron Horse. How's everybody? Glad you're doing good. Beautiful day today. I wonder what it'll be like next Tuesday. Kind of fun to think like that. Uh, right now we're in Miss Hammond's room. And it's kind of unique. I'm sitting with eighth graders. I know a few of them, but I don't know the majority. So it's kind of neat to see everyone's experience, feel into it. Uh, the question was, what's mindfulness like for you? Some are, some are like, I like to nap. Other ones, you know, it, you know, it's something I've worked on. Um, I feel for the seventh graders, it's their first year, so it's going to be the hardest. Sixth graders, first year, feel for you. Um, eighth graders did a little bit in sixth grade. So those, those, those students that had a sixth grade teacher that was practicing, it might be a different experience for someone who this is their first year. So I always remind you can't do this wrong. However you're bringing your experience to this moment is how it is. We're not trying to create something or make something magical happen or make this the best nap ever. We're just here right now seeing what we can notice, what we can feel. Um, the practice is being present it's right now, right here. And I always like this, the, the saying, right now it's like this. The body's like this, the mind's like this, the thoughts are like this, the heart is like this. So feel into that. How is your heart right now? How are you feeling? And as I'm feeling into my body and feeling into this moment, I kind of, I have to train my mind on something or I'll get lost, lost in a story, future, trip in, sad about the past, whatever it is that occupies your awareness, do the opposite of what we do all the time. You're always doing something at Iron Horse. It's like you never stop. Even lunch, you're doing something. This is that one time, once a week, 10 minutes. What do you got to lose? Just be here right now with yourself. Surrounded by a room full of people. It's a very sacred act. We're all practicing together, trying our best. It's a really, really cool thing. So we're kind of at the phase right now where we're going to notice the thoughts that come up. In the practice, it's called the noting practice. Talked about it last week. And when I have a thought arise, I kind of catch it and I, and, I, and I say in my head, you know, planning, planning. Or if I'm really excited about my lesson today in school, I kind of got lost just now thinking about it. It's how fast it happens. I said happy, happy in my head, right? So sit here, focus on either the belly, the breath going down to the belly, the, the ribs, maybe where it goes in your nose, your mouth. And you're training your awareness on that. I kid, I say like a Jedi. You see Yoda doing it. He's, fo he's focused on the breath. For real. And as you're noticing what the breath feels like, how long it lasts, where it goes, how it comes in, how it comes out, and that thought pops into your head and you're kind of lost wherever you went, it's not real. It's just a thought. Name it for what it is and come back to your breath. just got real still. I 
And if you think you have to scratch or you need to move, name that thought. Like, why do you have to move? Who's doing that? Is that the mind? Is that the thoughts? Or does your body have to move right now? Play around with it. As we finish up today, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework. If you get sad or you get happy, however you're feeling, just appreciate it. Whatever you're feeling, it could be even when you're depressed or, you know, just happy as you could be. Whatever it is, it's all good. Both are, both are great. Because what I want you to kind of play with or discover is what are the thoughts like when you have a certain emotion? Just noticing, you know, like if you are feeling sad, what kind of thoughts are, are, are arising? And eventually, with that awareness, you might recognize that your thoughts and your emotions are two different things. This is one of those days where I don't want to hit stop, but I want to respect everybody's time. This is a really good room. Appreciate everybody on campus trying their best. And don't forget, you can't do this wrong. You're doing really good just by trying. That's the deal. Thank you.